Hello everybody and welcome back to video or I'm sorry visualjsharp.net video tutorial number two. Um, today we are going to make an application a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit more interesting than what we did last time but still it's it's going to be fairly simple to uh, make and quick. Um, it's just going to be a uh, it's going to start off with the group box here and then on in the group box there's a little maximize button which will it, um, open up a big panel over the form and then the panel would have a button there that says minimize and it'll go back to to a group box so you can think of that or you can think of um, like the windows windows <laughs> when you uh, minimize and maximize and stuff like that with all the windows inside the windows operating system so Open up your Visual Studio 2005, create a new visualjsharp.net Windows application, name it whatever you want, and when you get to the form design view, you're ready to start. First off, um, find a group box to put onto the form. Give me a second, and there we go, I found it. Yay! <laughs> okay, now you can make it as... <coughs> Excuse me can make it as big as you want and then name it let's let's name it uh, max group because we want to maximize the group box and the text will be <sighs> maximize me there we go now we're gonna find a panel that we will drag under the group box for now and right there make it don't make it too big for now because we still want to see the the group box but once we're done we're gonna make the panel over the group box and uh, change the panel name to min panel because we want to minimize the panel okay now we are gonna find a button and put it top right corner of your group box make it smaller name it to max button because it's the button that will click and then it will maximize to the panel and then uh, the text I'm gonna call it max okay there we go now find another button this will be the minimize button put it there in the panel Make it smaller if you like. And in the properties window, we're going to change the name to min button. And then the text will be min. There we go. Alright, now that that's done, go ahead and select your maximize button. And under your properties window, um, there's like this little lightning strike picture button that you'll click which will take you to the events properties go to the click event and type uh, the, this will in um, this will this will create a new um, function that will handle that the click event of this button let's call it max window and then you can enter that uh, sorry so private void and we call it max window so we're creating a new function this dot um, max min panel so this is just calling on uh, right now this dot min panel that's just calling on the uh, panel we have within our class and set visible we're gonna tell it um, when you maximize the when you press the maximize button it's gonna open up the window so we're gonna set it to true okay now we're gonna go back and select our minimize button and go to the uh, um, events properties find the click event and let's call it min uh, window okay that'll create us a new function uh, let's, let's redo this one here 
or our, let's redo our max window. Okay. And click max window. Okay. So for min, uh, min window anyway, we're gonna um, this dot min panel. That's just calling on the uh, panel within our class. Set visible. And when we minimize it, we want to make it disappear. So we're gonna set visible to false. Max in the function max window, on the other hand, rather than set visible to false, it's gonna be true. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Now make our panel larger. And let's try it. Save the form. Start debugging. Alright. Okay. Okay, minimize max. There we go. So that's our simple little program for now. Um, I'll be making more tutorials later, and uh, they'll get more advanced as it as they go on. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.